Hi guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video uh, is going to detail how to recode a variable uh, within SPSS. In particular, how to recode a variable that has a number of categories, a uh, number of levels of measurement, uh, down into a smaller set of uh, levels of measurement. Uh, the data set that we're going to use uh, is the same data set that we've used in previous videos. Uh, it can be found within the I suppose the samples data f uh, folder uh, that comes uh, along with SPSS and the data set that we're going to concentrate on today is the employee data set okay? uh, this data set has a number of variables uh, for each employee, uh, each employee has an identifier and an ID number uh, each employee has a gender, has a birth date has a, an education level, uh, has a job category, has a current salary uh, and also a variable that uh, I suppose details what their salary was when they when they started in this particular organization or when they started this job. Uh, another variable called job time that uh, gives us in months uh, how many months they've been in their current role. Uh, previous experience, how many months of previous experience had they got before they joined this particular organization? Okay, uh, and then we have a minority variable whether the whether the individual uh, is classified as a as minority race, yes or no. Okay, but for us, uh, what we're going to concentrate on is we're going to just concentrate on the job category variable. Now I'm in the data view window here. But if I go to the variable view window, and let's have a look at job category, okay? In the variable view window, the job category variable and its attributes are defined here in row five. And let's have a look at the values, okay? So the values that we have are zero for a missing value, one indicating a clerical officer, two indicating a custodial officer, and three indicating a manager, okay? Uh, now, what I'd like to be able to do is, I'd like to be able to, at some stage, for example, uh, I'd probably like to be able to create a histogram uh, of, let's say, the manager's salaries, uh, and also I'd like to be able to create a histogram of all other salaries, Okay. At this particular stage, if we try to create histograms, okay, let's just hit OK here. Uh, let's just go to Graphs, Legacy Dialogues. Let's scroll down to Histogram. I want to do a histogram of current... Let me just reset this here. I want to do a histogram of current salaries. So an employee's current salaries. And what I'd like to see is I'd like to see it based these histograms based on job category. So I'll just put that into Roles. I'll just hit OK so we can actually see the output here. And actually what we can see is we see the distribution here for clerical officers, we see the distribution here, there's not many observations, uh, there's not many custodial officers, so the distribution is quite quite small, uh, and we see the distribution here for managers. But really what I'd like to do is, I'd like to just, I'd like to deal with clerical officers and custodial officers as one single grouping. Now at this particular stage, there's, we cannot we cannot group these particular variables together, okay, uh, or these this particular level of measurement associated with job category. But what we could do is we can transform that variable into a new variable, uh, so that this new variable just has uh, two levels of measurement: uh, one for manager, one for clerical and custodial officers, let's say, okay? And the way we do that within SPSS is we go to the transform uh, menu. We click on the transform menu uh, and what we have here is we have a number of options in relation to how to recode a variable and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to recode into the same variable because that's going to end up updating the variable. I'm going to recode into a different variable. Okay, so I'm going to recode into a different variable. I'm going to choose that. Okay, The variable I'd like to recode is employment category. So I'm going to move employment ca category across here to this, uh, into this particular, into this particular uh, window. I'm going to give the new variable a name, okay? So let me just call this, uh, let's let's actually just call it new job category, okay? Category, just so that we actually have a, a new variable name. I'm going to hit change, okay? So what that's going to do now is this, is it's going to take all the values associated with job category and it's going to create a new variable called new job category, okay? But what I need to tell SPSS is how to recode these values, okay? Uh, I'm just going to actually cancel this. I'm just going to go back to the data view window. Okay, so let's just go back to the data view window. Okay, uh, and let's have a look at our values that are associated with job category. And let's just keep in mind that clerical officers are well, missing values are zero, clerical officers are one, custodials are two, and managers are three. 
So what I'd like to do now in the, in the recoding is I'll keep zero for missing values, okay? Uh, I'll set one now to be clerical and custodial, and I'll change twos also to be ones to be clerical and custodials, uh, and then I'll change threes to be twos. So our new encoding is going to have values, three levels of measurement, zero, one, and two, okay? To represent zero for missing, one will represent clerical and custodials, and three will represent, uh, sorry, two will represent managers. Okay, so what we'll do is we go back into transform, recode into different variables. I'm going to recode the employment category variable. I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to call it new uh, job category. Okay, uh, let's just actually make that a capital C. New job category, category. And uh, I'm going to hit change. And now I'm going to go to old and new values. Okay, so what I'm going to say is the old value that's coded as a zero, I'm going to keep that as a zero. So I'm going to, missing values will be still missing values. Okay, the old value that's coded as a one, which is our clerical officers, are going to continue to be coded as ones. Okay, uh, the old values that are coded as twos, which is our custodials, are going to be now coded as ones. Okay. And finally, the old value 3, which represents managers, is going to be coded as 2, which is the new manager coding. So let's hit OK on that. And that's really it. That's all we have to do here. So let's just hit Continue. And let's hit OK. And what we'll end up getting is, well, the output window pops up just to tell us that the recode job category 0 to 0, 1 to 1, 2 to 1, 3 to 2, has been recoded into a new job category variable. But let's go back to our data view window. Okay. So going back to our data view window, you can actually see that we now have a new job category over here, uh, variable defined. Okay. Let's go back into our variable view and let's give these values. Okay. So let's give them values. So what I'm going to say is zero represents missing value. Okay. Let's actually put that down as missing, missing value. Okay. Let's add that. One represents a uh, clerical and custodial, let me actually make them caps here, uppercase, clerical, clerical and custodial, okay, let's add that, and two represents managers, okay, so two is going to represent a manager, okay, and let's just hit okay on that, okay, okay, what did we say, last add or change operation was not completed, okay, cancel that, let me just add this here, okay, and let's hit okay. Okay. So let's get rid of our decimals. Let's go down to zero decimals. And now what we have is our values are zero for missing value, one for clerical and custodial, two for manager. Okay. Let's say okay on that. And these are nominal variables as well. So now actually if we go back into our data view window, we can see that everybody has been recoded. Okay. You can see in this column here, the new job category, we have clerical and custodial officers, managers, uh, and so on, there's no missing values, so there's no missing values coming up here. So now let's do our chart again. So we go back to graphs, legacy dialogues, histograms, uh, current salary is what I want to plot. I want to base it off the new job category. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll do histograms for each level of the job category variable. Okay, where we've only two levels now, we've got uh, clerical and custodial, and we've also got managers. Okay, so if we hit OK on that. You actually see now what we get is we get two outputs. We get the first output is for the clerical and custodial observations all pooled together. And the second uh, histogram that we got is for managers. Okay, guys, uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video uh, detailing how to recode a variable within SPSS uh, was somewhat helpful.